y'all, my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a spring clean with me video. I'm really excited about it. I'm ready to get our house cleaned up. You saw last week where I just picked up everything. Well, guess what? It's kind of back in a mess again. But I'm going to be doing a spring clean, so like a deep cleaning video today. And today I'm planning on just doing my kitchen. I may do my kitchen, living room, and dining room. Kind of depends on how the day goes, um, how long that it takes me to really clean up the kitchen really well. I wanted to talk with y'all first about the products that I'm using to clean our home. Now, most of you already know that I am obsessed with Young Living's Thieves Cleaner, and I know that it cleans really well. I've been using it for over a year now. I've had no problems at all. And I have actually stayed the least sick this past year. We have taken a lot less doctor visits. Um, Drew only had to go one time last year, and that is huge for him, and that was because he had a bad case of poison ivy. And it was around his eyes, and you can't put oils on your eyes. So, um, that was his one time. And our sinuses have been a lot better. Our allergies just could not believe how much healthier that we were just by using these products. Sorry, I'm having to start over because um, my Young Living order came in the mail. My la mail lady was at the back door. Now, I'm aware that there's a lot of different tests going around about the thieves cleaner. And it's just like regular people like me and you that are testing these products um but i have seen where scientists have tested them and i'm just going to put my trust in the scientist and i've seen their experiments because i've heard and read up on too that it's a lot more than just swabbing something putting it in a little uh dish thing and anyway watching things grow i don't really understand all that i just know that i have seen scientists back these products up and so i am going um on what they're telling me and then also on, on how much healthier Drew and I have been this year. So you can do with that information what, what you want. But I wanted to show you also not only the Thieves Cleaner. Now the Thieves Cleaner is very affordable and I'll show you all that later. And I know that most of you have probably already seen this, but I gotta tell everybody because I get new subscribers all the time. But for right now, I'm gonna show you this new app that I think is wonderful and everybody should have if you're not wanting to use um, the thieves line. Here's an alternative that you can do. Um, if you're just like, I'm not buying that young living stuff, then you can use this app because to me, having a clean home means having a healthy home. And for whenever I'm starting to spring clean and stuff and I'm showing y'all and inspiring y'all, I don't want y'all to go up under your kitchen sinks, light your candles, plug in all the wall, plug in things and start using this these chemicals that are very, very harmful to your body. I don't want you to go up into your kitchen sink grabbing those and cleaning your home with it for the springtime. So I'm here to help encourage y'all be a little bit more careful about what you're cleaning and how you're cleaning in your home. And so I wanted to show y'all this Think Dirty app because this is stuff that you can just run to Target and go grab. Um, and it's super easy and very affordable. And so here's the app. So the app is called Think Dirty. This is what it looks like. Right here, Think Dirty. Okay, and so you can actually scan your product. So you can go to Target, Walmart, wherever you want to shop. And you can just pull up the little barcode. And I don't th have anything to scan, but you would just scan the barcode. And then it pulls up on a scale from 0 to 10 on how um, harmful that it is. The harsh chemicals that are in it, it tells you all about it. But since I don't have anything to scan, I'm going to actually probably drop some of y'all's draws right now and show y'all that everybody that thinks Mrs. Myers is a safe cleaner, you can actually type in your products. Most of them are rating an eight. Every so often I'll get a three in here, um, but it looks like it's hand soap. So we're getting some fives, some sevens. I honestly would not buy anything unless it was a two or below. And honestly, a zero is what I would do. Now, this is what my sister started using for, like, the hand soaps and stuff until she swapped over to Young Living. And Young Living is very affordable because their stuff is highly concentrated. So, it's almost like you go to Costco and buy it in bulk and then you get it home and you start um, diluting everything. But until she started placing her monthly orders, she went and she got this 7th generation stuff. And it rates a zero and it is very affordable. Uh, seven, okay, here we go. 7th generation. See? All zeros. And so, just use this app, y'all. All you got to do is download it. For this new season, I'm going to challenge y'all to go through your house, um, get up under your sink, and throw away all of the things. 
throw it all away. You don't need it. Don't say, oh, I'm just going to use this. I've spent money on this. Just don't do it. Let's start fresh. Let's start fresh this new season. Throw all of it away. It goes to the store. And everybody thinks that you have to have like a uh, different cleaner for like different objects. Like you have to have a toilet cleaner, a sink cleaner, a bathroom cleaner. And you don't have to do that. So just go to the store and find one or two, maybe three things to purchase to help clean your whole house. And that rates a zero on the Think Dirty app. And it will be very affordable. Under your sink will look so nice and organized and clean. I'm gonna show you actually the bottom of my sink because I just love how it looks now. It just looks so tidy and clean and organized and everything matches, I love it. I'm kind of OCD like that. Anyway, so I'll show you that. But I promise you it's so affordable and it's so easy and you will thank me later, I promise you. You will, um have a healthier family just by getting rid of that junk in your home. Now, I know if you go out in the world, you're going to have to use these things and use these items, but at least your home that you're living in and your family's living in, you'll be in a safer environment. All my mess that I have to pick up. Big mess over here, but I wanted to show you up under my sink. And Actually, my thieves cleaners are out right here. Okay, so here's up under my kitchen sink, and you cannot tell me that this does not look a lot better. And so... I have my toothy, and we'll sit down on the floor. I have my thieves cleaners. These are the exact same, um, and this is what I did. So here's the thieves cleaner, and this is less than $25 with Young Living. I've had this one since last April, and I have gave some samples away to friends, and I have filled these two bottles up constantly, and I still have about this much left. So, this has lasted me a year, and this is what I clean everything with. Um, I'll show you all the things that I mix up. So, I bought these bottles, and I got these bottles from my Amazon shop, and, and these labels from a friend that I follow on Etsy, and she makes these cute little labels for everything. But all you do is you take a cap full of this, and you pour it into your 16-ounce bottle, and then you fill the rest up with water, and that's it. Now, sometimes um, for the bathrooms, just one capful is enough, but I'll do like a capful and a half or two capfuls, depending on, I mean, this stuff just lasts for forever. So sometimes I've just went ahead and put two capfuls in this one and let this one be like for my toilet and stuff like that. Super safe products. You don't have to worry about your kids getting a hold of them. They can actually clean, help you clean. It's super safe, all plant-based ingredients. So and it smells really good. I love how it smells. It's different than your normal cleaner. It definitely smells like a like a cinnamon clove scent, but you can drop your lemon essential oil in, into it if you are used to having like a citrus fresh home. And so, uh, love how these smell. I have a glass jar of vinegar here, some baking soda. This right here is just a bottle full of vinegar, and then I put a few drops of essential oil in there. And then over here we have a stain remover, and then we have... This is for some, I need a really deep scrub. So this is um, baking soda, a cap full of Thieves Cleaner, and then a few drops of lemon essential oil just mixed together. I think a little bit of water too. This is my carpet shaker. So this is baking soda, purification oil, lemon oil. And so I just sprinkle this on my carpet or my rugs to freshen them up. And then this is my dishwashing powder. And so it looks like this. So I emptied all of that into here. And then I put um, the rest of it, filled the rest of it up with baking uh, soda. And I mix it together. And that's what I use to run my dishwasher. And I've had this for over a year also. And so, again, this is all very affordable. They have a dish soap, a hand soap. They have laundry soap. So, they have the whole line. But I just wanted to show how much better my under the sink looked. And I love how it looks and how organized it is. And so... Again, I'm not here to push the Young Living products. I'm here to tell you that you can clean out all that other junk from under your cabinets and organize it better like this. Clean with vinegar, baking soda, uh, Epsom salt, and then you can go and get that like seventh generation stuff or whatever you find at Target or Walmart that scans a zero on the Think Dirty app. And you can just have um, a new fresh start. I'm sitting here editing this video and I remember that I needed to remind y'all do not buy any essential oils or the thieves cleaner anything from Amazon um I've already known this but my friend Miranda y'all probably follow her we've done collabs before he told me that she had a friend that ordered the thieves cleaner and that she didn't love it 
Well, she came to like a little oily party that they had and they were showing off the thieves cleaner and the girl was like, that is not at all what my thieves cleaner smelled like or how um, it cleaned whenever I bought it off of Amazon. And so we know that there's people out there that's buying these products and then diluting them or, or just tampering with them. And so there might be some out there that are um, the real deal, but some of them are definitely not. And so that kind of scared me. I was like, oh my gosh. So if you want to do the thieves cleaner, um, let me know. You can just email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Um, go buy it from Amazon if you want to, but don't come hollering to me whenever you get your thieves cleaner and it's just a bunch of junk. So that's just a little tip. Okay, so now that I've gave you all a few tips and tricks on how to really start deep cleaning your home, spring cleaning, and let's start off this new season the right way by getting all those nasty products and chemicals out of your house, we're going to start really deep cleaning the kitchen and I cannot wait. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do before anything is I'm going to get my diffusers going. A lot of people will start their diffusers after they get through cleaning to kind of like be like, this is it, finished products, the house is going to smell good. But I like to start mine before because I like to get the house smelling really good while I'm cleaning. So y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all like to do. Do y'all get your diffusers going first or last? Um, but first I'm going to clean my diffuser because it is pretty dirty and it gets some oil buildup on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean it really well. As you can see, it's kind of nasty looking. So I'm actually going to use my Thieves Cleaner to clean this and clean my other one. And then we're going to get it going and then we're going to start picking up. Okay, so I'm going to take it apart. And then I have this little sponge that I'm going to use to clean it. Now, going back to the candles, if you're going to get rid of all of your cleaners up under your uh, kitchen sink and try to do better candles, wall plug-ins, you better just go ahead and throw those out too. I know that all of y'all are going to be like, oh, there is no way. Trust me, I was like that until I heard about all the side effects that candles can actually cause. Asthma, upper respiratory problems, even cancer. If they are hormone disruptors. You can just Google it for yourself, but I promise you, you do not want to be burning those things in your home. So that's why I opted for doing my diffusers. Not only do they make my house smell clean, amazing, and fresh, they also are really good to breathe in. That is really great benefits for your body. And so, I highly recommend that if you really want to get your new season off to a great start, investing in a nice diffuser from Young Living that also doubles as a humidifier. Um, or you can just go to um, like TJ Maxx and somewhere and get you a diffuser. Now, they're not a humidifier there, but you can get a diffuser there. Um, I would just be very careful with the oils that you buy because not, oil, not all oils are 100% natural. And let me just tell you real fast that any oil company out there can actually just put 5% of a natural oil in there and fill the rest of it up with a synthetic fragrance or different fillers. And so it's not going to benefit your body. And it's basically going to be the same thing as you burning a candle. So there's no sense of, in throwing away all your candles, buying diffusers and oils from Walmart, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, any of those places. Just don't even try it because I promise you those are not 100%. Um, you have to do the research, but I can save you the time. I've already done all the research, and they are not. There's different grade of oils, A, B, C, and D, and all of those are grade D oils, which means that they don't have hardly any benefits at all. It is basically just filled with a bunch of junk. Anyway, so I'm just going to clean my diffuser. A little glass dome also. And then if any of you are interested at all in getting started with Young Living and starting off the season right, then you can just email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com and I'll link that all below. I really wanted this video to be all about how to get your home spring clean ready, but not only showing you how to spring clean, but not only cleaning out the cluttered junk in your home, but also the toxic junk also. And so, so some of you may laugh and make fun of this and think that's not for me, I don't care about that. But for those of you that do and really care about your health and wellness, this video may help you out a lot because I have researched a lot about this. And like I said, my friends, family, and definitely can say for myself, Drew and I, we have felt a huge difference this past year just by swapping over and trying to watch what we do in our home. And so you can take that however you want, using all those awful cleaners if you want to. But I'm just here to say that we have learned our lesson and I want to spread awareness. So look how much prettier that looks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the tiered tray also before I put all this back up there because it is pretty dusty. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
if you can see it in film. It's got a good bit of dust on it. So I'm going to wipe this off real good. This one also has a little place where you can plug your phone up. It has like a little adapter so you can plug your phone up and play music with it also. But I'm going to use the spa music for my background noise. I'm just going to fill it up. And then I'm going to use my favorite oils that I like to use in the kitchen. Which are these three. Thieves Lemon and Orange. And I'm going to put about five drops each. And the Citrus Fresh also. Stick the glove on top. And then it has a remote control. You just point it at the sensor. And it has a 2 hour, 6 hour, 12 hour run time. It has the spa music you can turn on and off. You can plug your phone up to it and play music. Um, and then you can also change the color settings. But I usually just do 12 hours. And then I'll keep my music going. My spa music going. Okay, and I just looked and I just remembered that I just cleaned this one last week. So, I'm going to go ahead and just fill it up. And then for this one, I'm going to use Purification. I love using Purification with one of the citrus oils. It mixes really well together. And this one has, I think, up to 10 hour run time. So, I always put it on the third setting. And then I change it to the candle flicker. So, I get that moody look as if I was lighting a candle. So I made oatmeal this morning and I just realized that inside of this pantry is a mess. And so I'm gonna try to clean it up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wash my dishes just because I don't want to put dishes back to my dishwasher. So, I'm going to go ahead and find some water, some hot water in here and wash up some of these. And like you saw in my last video, I'm going to be using my Thieves dish soap. And then I got these at like TJ Maxx and then like TJ Maxx Home Goods, Ross, maybe even Walmart. But they just look nice sitting up here and then they... They are very good at cleaning. Okay, now that I have everything picked up and pretty much off the counters, I'm going to go ahead and take my thief spray. And I think I'm going to go ahead and fill it back up and add some lemon essential oil into it just because I want the house to smell like citrus fresh. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all the countertops. So I'm going to pull everything off the counters, re-wipe, and re-kind of organize it, make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to tell y'all about these rags. I don't know. I need to go find some. But these, I got a little antique store near me. They're crocheted rags. And I love the way they clean, the way that they look. And so this is what I'll be using. I have lots of these in different colors. I know they sell them on Etsy. So you could probably just type in like crochet or whatever uh, rags. 
kitchen rags and find them, but I'm obsessed with these. Vitamins that I take and use from Young Living. I like to keep them out. I have a little medicine cabinet, but I remember to take them if I keep them out. And so I just have a little place for them right there. And then these are little, just little squirts for my water. They have electrolytes in them and I love the way that they taste. So I just keep those all right there. I'm gonna go ahead and water all of my plants in the window seal. I got this from a little thrift store. I thought this was so cute to have right ready to water all my little plants. I told y'all before that I love having house plants in our home. They help purify our air, they help create some oxygen, and they help get rid of the toxins that are built up in your home. And so the easiest ones to me are the potho plants. I have some in my living room, I have them in my bathroom just throughout the home. They're the easiest to take care of. Um, I have some chives, rosemary in my windowsill. They're about ready to go out in the sun, so I'll be excited to take those out there pretty soon. And then I'll add some more houseplants to my windowsill. And then I have an African violet that's over here, and it's done really well. It likes to be in the sunlight, though, so just a window. So if you have windows in your home, these are perfect plants to put in just a windowsill. And then the pothos are actually really easy um, and convenient. All you have to do is put those anywhere in your rooms as long as there's some kind of natural light coming in it doesn't even matter but they love being in the bathroom anyway so i'm just going to go ahead and give all these plants a little bit of watering i love taking care of my house plants it's one of my favorite things to do i have enjoyed being able to get rid of all of my other plants. Not that they were bad, but they were just taking up too much room. So I hardly have any fake florals in my house anymore. Most of them are all real and, and they honestly do bring me so much joy. Like if you ever start collecting house plants, you won't be able to stop. And so this is a new one that I got from Petals from the past of how it's in the little glass ball hanging on my window. And it's just a, it's just a cute little foliage plant that I have in there. And I just keep it watered and then our cute little hummingbird feeder that we have for the springtime whenever the hummingbirds are out. So it just kind of brings nature inside and I love being outside. So bringing in the real plants, they clean our air and then I just love taking care of them. I love watching them grow. So also for this season, I wanna encourage you to go out and start visiting some plant nurseries or even your local Walmart, Home Depot or Lowe's, they all have plants for indoors. And so don't only just plant your plants outside, bring them inside as well. And then let me know in the comments below how you enjoy having these new plants in your home for the new season. I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping these countertops down. I do still have my Valentine's Day plates out. Hopefully this week it will start raining enough where I wanna to go to the thrift store and go find some more spring decorations just to get inspired by some more things. So hopefully I'll be able to do like a haul on what I find. And one of the things that I'm looking for is to replace these plates with some springtime plates. But for now, I'm just gonna give everything a good wiping down.
Okay, do y'all see how nasty this is? This has bothered me for too long. So I am about to take a wet cotton ball and some lemon essential oil, and this sticky will come right off. So I'm just gonna drop a few drops on here and then get all this sticky off because it is driving me crazy. So I have wiped down all the cabinets all around the island, the baseboards in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish off with the sink. I clean off all the cabinet handles. I mean everything, everything is wiped down. So it feels so fresh, it's so clean. So I'm gonna end cleaning the sink and then vacuuming and mopping our floors in here. And then the kitchen will be through. use the same stuff that I used last week. I'm going to use my baking soda and these cleaner. And I'm just going to dollop some in the sink. A little scrubby. And give it a good scrub. So this these cleaner is a very effective cleaner. And the thing with it is it smells so good. Like I know with other cleaners, I used to think that some of them smelled kind of good. Like the lavenders and stuff. Like it just kind of smelled clean like what I remember when my mom cleaned like pine saw and stuff but when I really got to thinking about it like whenever you are using that stuff you're coughing it's hurting your lungs and it's a breath and that's because you're using all those harsh cleaners to clean and so that's why this season I'm really encouraging y'all to try to find more natural ways of cleaning so you're not harming your bodies you're not hurting like that like it actually feels good to clean because you're breathing in uh natural products that's actually benefiting your body to breathe in. So I am all about that. So this cleaner that I just did in the sink, it cleaned very well. And I didn't have to worry about using all those harsh chemicals to get the sink cleaned up. And what I like to do at the end is I'll put a little bit of dish soap in here, fill it up with hot water. I got one of these things at the thrift store. And then I'll just put my little scrubby in there and let it soak to kind of kill the germs. Now we're going to get the floors clean. I 
wanted to show y'all this mop. I got it at Walmart. A friend told me about it, and this is the brand. You can probably get it on Amazon, but you can buy replacement pads too, and all you do is throw them in the washing machine. It's kind of the same concept as a Swiffer, except for you get to make your own cleaner to go in it. So I put warm water in here. I fill it all the way up, and then I put a cat full of these cleaner, and then I drop some lemon essential oil in there. And so this is what I'm gonna to use to mop my floors. Super safe on any hardwood floors. You can use it on tile, anything. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So you don't even need batteries for this. All you do is you just fill it up and then use this little handle, squirt it out and you're ready to go. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. The kitchen is all clean, super clean and tidy. I am working on heating me up some sweet potatoes for lunch because I'm pretty hungry. It's 1242 here, so it's past my lunch time. So I'm gonna try to find on Amazon and link it down below on my Amazon shop. Try to find the vacuum that I use. It's a Dyson and then also the mop or something similar to it that I use to clean up in here because it is just so handy. I hate using cords. I hate using the mop buckets. It's just so much faster and easier and more convenient. You can invest in something that's gonna make your life a lot easier and not hurt your back as bad. So on this video, I decided just to do the kitchen because it did take a lot longer than I thought. I'll be doing some more spring cleaning videos. Be sure to check me out on my Instagram page at Simply Lake and Lace. I'm gonna be doing next week, we're doing like a spring hop. When girls that I love looking at their home decor, they actually live in mobile homes also. And so we're doing a spring hop and mine's gonna be spring clean with me. Some other people are gonna be like, decorate the hutch with me, decorate um, a centerpiece with me. So that's gonna be some fun videos over there on my Instagram page. And then I'm also gonna do one or two more uh, spring cleaning videos is the plan anyway. Let me know down in the comments if I have inspired you to switch over into some natural products and give us some more tips and tricks. Anyway, I hope that y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all on the next. Bye y'all.